Behind me here is Lone Rock at Lake Powell. As you can tell, the water level is quite low. Pretty much the lake is halfway around the base of Lone Rock. And that's because the Colorado River, as you may know, has been experiencing a 20 plus year drought. And that drought directly affects Lake Powell due to the lack of snow in the Colorado Rockies and also the overconsumption of our freshwater resources. As you can tell, we're quite dry around here. That high water mark right up there, that was full pool in 1983. And we are right here now. So let's get into it. Lake Powell reached its lowest point ever recorded just two and a half years ago on April 13th, 2023, measuring 3,519 feet above sea level. To give you perspective, that's the same level it was in 1966, only three years after Glen Canyon Dam was completed. In 2023, Lone Rock was completely dry. You could hike to its base. Fortunately, later that same year, the Colorado River got a break. Massive runoff of a record snowpack caused the lake to rebound by 65 feet, and Lone Rock once again became reachable by boat. Now in the fall of 2025, the lake is dropping fast. That little rock debris over there, I was standing on that in June, and it's now mid-October. So, since then, the lake has dropped 17 feet. 17 feet. Seems like a lot, right? Actually, let me tell you something that is not really well known about Lake Powell. Uh. Lake Powell is shaped like a martini glass. So think about this. When you take a sip from a martini glass, the level barely changes when it's full. Now, the more and more sips you take, the faster and faster the level drops of the liquid. That is what's happening here at Lake Powell. Now, when you see these reports of the lake levels dropping fast, it seems very dramatic. But when you really think about it and you know the canyon, you'll understand that the water level is dropping at a rate that is consistent. Let me explain a little bit more. Lake Powell sits inside Glen Canyon, a steep and narrow canyon. So when volumes of water change, it seems very dramatic. As the lake goes down, like in that martini glass, it drops rapidly. So the story changes when the lake is full. So when the lake gets fuller, it starts to spread out into more surface area. So really, a little change in water makes a big difference when the lake is this low. So small, steep canyon, rapid decline, rapid rise. Here's another thing that some people may be aware of, but might not know the full details of. Lake Powell, the upper basin, which is the upper basin states, must release 7.5 million acre feet of water downstream to Lake Mead and Hoover Dam. The Colorado River Compact clearly states that there must be 7.5 million acre feet be sent downstream. And if the upper basin cannot provide this, then they, can, <laughs> they can't hold back any water. It has to go downstream. So people are saying, hold the water in Lake Powell. Let's see if that can happen with the law of the river. But things are gonna change here soon, 2026 agreement, so. So yes, this lake is low and it's gonna stay low until the seven Colorado River Basin states and the federal government decide of a better plan of how to manage this river during the post-2026 agreement. Is that filming? That is filming. Okay. Missed you guys. It's been a long time. Been busy. You know, uh, it's just how things are sometimes. You know, I wish I could do YouTube full time, but I've uh, decided this video, I'm going to do a report, but at the same time, I need to make sure that everybody can kind of see what's going on out here. So I'm going to do a little extended video at the end. So if you're watching this, thanks. If you are, you probably subscribe, but if you're not, 
probably should. I'm gonna try to change things up a little bit and uh, get on some new video topics. Well, try to stay connected to the lake, you know? Seems like that's what uh, people are liking to watch. Now, like I said, I, I got this video here to show everybody what it's looking like down here at Lone Rock in 2025. And I'm kind of stuck in this uh, dead forest of cottonwood right now, walking on the bottom of Lake Powell. And uh, we're going hard, trying not to get stuck in the mud. I got to take the long way around. Now, I think last year <laughs> I was burning through these and it was, it was full growth. Things were still alive. We got some stuff on the ground, nothing too crazy, but uh, we'll see. It's probably going to be tumbleweeds here soon down here. So... Yeah, let's keep getting some shots, all right? Big Water Creek or Walweep Creek. We are here at the base of Lone Rock and this is looking like the Walweep Creek Delta. Right into Lake Powell, lake level. And this is October of 2025, mid-October. To be honest, I do not know the date today. It's probably like the 12th, 13th. But that is Lone Rock Beach. Well, excuse me. That is Lone Rock Beach. Okay. Oh, baby. Lone Rock. Gosh, that is such a high water line. Right there in the center. Over there is lake oh excuse me lone rock canyon and we are in the bay walking now this is october of 2025 we still have a full winter of water levels dropping so we'll kind of give a, a little analysis here of what's going on then we're going to come back and we're going to see what's going on but that is it just a bunch of cottonwood groves that are absolutely dead inundated by the waters of Lake Powell and we are on the sediments at the bottom of the lake and there is Lone Rock. Tumbleweed Central up there. Now a little bit of a science here for you. I guess it's science ecology. I don't know what to say. Is that when the lake drops the first thing to grow are tumbleweeds and tamarisk trees and those are both invasive species. So when these lake levels drop, majority of the time, you have an abundance of tumbleweed and tamarisk trees. I don't know what those are. I think, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a botanist. Okay, we're trekking. Little slot canyon here at Lone Rock. It's actually a really cool spot. You know, I knew about this a couple of years ago, but it seems like it's dug out a little bit more and you can come back here. And uh, surprisingly, I don't, I don't think a lot of people have come over here, even the people that are camped on the beach, which is crazy. It's a nice little spot here. Now let's see over here. And right here. All right, well, thanks for watching everybody. This is all I got for you at the moment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'll have more videos coming out soon. Hope everybody has a great day.